as these two riders go up the road and decide to see whether a move might happen. Harm van Hooker in the red. Another attack. Genier decides. Van Kiels goes with him and decides, actually, we might get a proper attack here. 20 points to Goosens. And 10 points on offer for the riders going across the line. And it's uh, Matthew van der Poel moving up with Jasper Philipsen. Biniam Gamay is up there on the wheel. So is Arnold Demar in the grey on the left-hand side. It's Philipsen, Gamay trying to get through. Oh, Philipsen closes the door as he looks around on Gamay. Philipsen takes the 13, but Gamay not too far behind. Vengegaard has had a puncture. Gets himself back onto his bike. This time he's on bike number one. The right of the screen. The right of the screen, the left yeah. of them. Remco Avenapol comes through. There goes Jonas Vengegaard on the wheels of Matteo Jorgensen. Suddenly, there's a lot more tension in this peloton, a lot more speed. UAE decide to take the left-hand side as we look with Tade Pogaccia. Sudden pace injection at 52 kilometres an hour. 60.7 kilometers to go. UAE Team Emirates, look at the face on Niels Pollitt. On the other side, the team are trying to switch across the road. The team of Visma, the team of Sudal Quickstep, 47 kilometers an hour. Pagacha looks around. Stefan Kung is up there. Suddenly, Astana have been washed away with the pacemaking being set by the contenders' teams. The team of Visma come up with Tish Banut. And on or delete, what is going on here? Having a conversation, has he got a puncture? Looks like a yes, soft back tyre for Arnold Delis. So one of the favourites for today. 28.2 kilometres to go. Arnold Delis needs a wheel change. Here comes the car. Cyclocross style. I wonder if anyone's going to give it a go. The team of EF move up with Marin Vandenberg, uh, Sean Quinn, the American champion there in the Stars and Stripes, comes to the front. Little right-hand side, still Visma Lisa bike. Left-hand side, you've got Ackerman's team, Israel Premier Tech. Still no major control, but a number of teams all drag racing on the front. After two kilometres oh, to go. Big after... squeeze to the right-hand side. Pagacha is on the outside, on the wheel of Visma Lisa bike, and everybody just wondering, which way do I go? A little bit of a touch of riders there. Five kilometres of racing to go on today's stage and you've suddenly got an electric pace. Bissiger getting ready for his lead out. So it's Marin Vandenberg in the pink behind Nielsen Paulus. They may have hit the front just a little bit too early. Astana get ready. Nico, 1,700 metres to go. Yeah. And here comes the Alpacin train. And here comes the Alpacin truck. And Morkov has realised that Mark Cavendish is not on the wheel. There he is, but it's too late. He's missed his turn. He wasn't on the wheel of his teammates. But the Alpacin, the Koenigs train in line now. And it looks like it's going to be Mathieu van der Poel. One kilometre of racing to go. Cavendish has kind of been washed away here, not following his lead-out train at all. Into the turn, and it is on the front, still Alps into Koenig. Laporte is there, looking out for Wout van Aert, who's on the wheel of Jasper Philipsen. They make this turn. Wow, really leaning the bike over into that turn. And this is uh, on the front, the lead-out train now of Jasper Philipson. Can Philipson finally win a stage in this year's Tour de France? His team have done an amazing job today. Four hours and 19 minutes. Here goes Matthew van der Poel. Philipsen is on the wheel, and Philipsen is kind of struggling to be on the wheel of van der Poel right now. Gaviria moves up. Matthew van der Poel fires. Philipsen now goes. Can Jasper Philipsen now win a stage of the Tour this year? Jasper Philipsen, there's going to be no doubt. Philipsen takes the win he's been looking for. Jasper Philipsen has finally got off the mark. Take us through it. Look at the sprint of Matthew van der Poel. Finally, he was there. Yeah, finally he was there, and he's done an exceptional work. Gaviria and Hackerman doing a great job there, trying to fight on the wheel. But Philipsen, look, from the helicopter shop, is even more impressive. Germay just getting around. Hackerman. And Von Aert's third, maybe. Philipsen was absolutely on fire. There was no question at all. No one was getting near him today. Look at that little glance, as you said, worrying a little bit. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Yes, it's happened. 